Brockton residents, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan. And again, I wanted to just come before you and give you some updates uh, what we're doing here in the city of Brockton relative to the coronavirus, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it's impacting not just the city and the community and the Commonwealth and the country, but the world. And, um, you know, first of all, I want to just thank each and every one of you. You're being uh, extremely patient. Um, I am uh, really want to strongly, again, urge everybody to take it serious in terms of stay at home or stay around the home. Um, I've had to actually uh, ask the Brockton police um, to go to some of the different playgrounds. Kids were playing basketball, and it's just not the right thing right now. We really have to adhere to what the healthcare professionals are telling us to do on a daily basis. And again, I just want to uh, reiterate again the preventative actions that they're asking us to to adhere to. And um, you know, I'm doing it as a dad of three young kids. And you know, I want to just urge everybody as the mayor of Brock. And so again, let me just tell you what they are again. Uh, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds uh, or use hand sanitizer in addition to the washing of at least 60% alcohol. Don't touch your face, especially your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Uh, cough and sneeze into your elbow or tissue, and then you're going to throw that tissue away immediately. And then you have to wash your hands for no less than 20 seconds. The biggest thing is social distancing. Stay at home. In around, your home is okay. If you want to walk around your yard, that's fine. We, we encourage healthy environment uh, and exercise. But again, this is not a time for an extended vacation or time to get together with loved ones um, other than your immediate family. Again, the social distancing is at least six feet, hopefully more, but no less than six feet. And then again, if you're not feeling well, stay home. If you're sick or have flu-like ill symptoms, call your primary care physician, your doctor, uh, and then you know, take appropriate actions as they, they recommend. But again, I just, I just want to keep reiterating that. I think it's extremely important. Um, but I also want to talk to you about um, anxiety. It's a stressful time. It's the unknown time. It's a scary time. People are panicked right now. And I'm humbly asking you to please uh, take a deep breath we're going to get through this time. We're going to get through this time together. But I do want to acknowledge that people have heightened sensitivity right now, and it's natural. So again, if you could just maybe practice uh, uh, meditation and mindful breathing, uh, deepen your breath and prolong your exhaling. Uh, exercise daily. Practice yoga if you want. Uh, walk around your yard. Participate on online exercise activities. It's uh, strongly recommended. Support others, and I mean this, call your loved ones, uh, reach out, make sure that your neighbors check in with them on a phone call or a Skype. Um, it's important to do that. We need to be able to utilize uh, interactions and technology, maintain your social contacts, you know, social media, join virtual activities, uh, make that phone call that you've been pushing off. And again, get outside daily, appreciate nature. Um, but I also just wanna say, I'm here for you as the mayor. And I mean that. It's an honor and a privilege to be a mayor. I didn't anticipate when I took the oath on January 6th that we'd be facing this, but, but I, I welcome the challenge because we have such a great community working together. And I do want to thank, again, John McGarry from the Board of Health and Steve Hook from Brockton Emergency Management. I want to thank Mike, Mike Thomas, the Superintendent of Schools, and Manny Gomes, the Police Chief. And I want to thank Larry Rowley, our DPW Commissioner, and Mike Williams, our Fire Chief. We have great people here working on the city side and the school side. A couple pieces of information I'd like to share with you if I could is that the yard waste that we put out on the curb um, started yesterday, which is April 1st. Um, you're gonna be getting a phone call, a reverse 911 robocall asking you um, for the month of April, um, you can continue to put out the bags and the barrels of yard waste, but we need to minimize that now. Um, so for the month of April, you can put it out curbside every week but no more than eight yard waste bags and no more than two trash barrels dedicated to yard waste. So a total of 10 per week. Reason being right now is Republic, which is our trash uh, remover, is having such an increase on residential trash because people are home. And so again, we need to work with them right now. Yard waste will be picked up. It might be a few days delayed. Um, but again, if you could just adhere to my respectful request, again, it's eight yard bags. Uh, and two barrels for the month of April. Um, the other thing I just wanted to share with you again is the school department is working right now. The principals from each school is reaching out to, to the parents and guardians and loved ones about giving computers, um, one per family of laptops, 
uh, to do the virtual teaching. Virtual teaching has been going on for weeks now, and I want to applaud the teachers and the parents and the guardians that are working in collaboration to educate the young. Um, the boys and girls right now are doing wonderful, wonderful job. It's, it's just a new, uh, a new way to learn. But again, I want to thank uh, the teachers and, and all the administrators in Brockton Public Schools and New Heights Charter School and Trinity Catholic Academy and Southeastern Regional Vocational. Again, 65% of the student population is from the city of Brockton. I'd like to ask, though, respectfully, um, if the citizens of Brockton could do me a favor as mayor. Right now, of course, people are wearing the, the gloves, the latex gloves around the city of Brockton. And I encourage that and I think it's the right thing to do that in combination with the hand sanitizers and washing your hands and if people choose to wear masks you know that's your personal choice but what's really disappointing right now is that there's people just disposing of the gloves on the ground throwing them on the ground if you drive by some of the supermarkets in the city you see them scattered about I went to CVS the other day to pick up some medicine and again I saw them on the ground we could do better and we need to do better and as a community I'm humbling asking you throw those into a receptacle, throw those into a trash barrel. Um, putting them on the ground really doesn't help the problem and it, it really increases the issue. I, and I know the Ward 1 Council and Ward 2 Council are gravely concerned, as all the city councilors are. I, I talk regularly to um, Shirley uh, Azak, who's the council president, and uh, Mark D'Agostino, who's the vice chairman of the school committee. And again, all the local elected officials, we're all in this together state delegation the three state reps to one state senator they've been working diligently with my office as well and i want to thank them claire cronin jerry cassidy michelle dubois and mike brady and i especially do want to thank our congressman stephen lynch as i mentioned before the congressman came and he met with me and all the department heads and we took a a call with the healthcare professionals here in brockton and the congressman asked me for a uh, itemized list of supplies and we put in a request with nema um, and, and again, we were able to get a, a good portion of those supplies requested. And I know Stephen uh, made the call, the congressman worked with us. So again, I want to thank him. I also want to thank uh, Senator Ed Markey and Senator Elizabeth Warren, who reached out to the office as well to work about funding. I also do want to publicly thank, uh, again, all the healthcare professionals. We're working together. We put competition aside. We're all in this together to make sure that our community is healthy and safe and the general welfare. And, there's one component um, that I, I think you'll see in the, in the no, newspaper and online is uh, the homeless population, people that are facing homelessness. And what is the city of Brockton doing for the homeless population? And I can tell you as the mayor, for at least the last four weeks, maybe up to six weeks, we've been working with our state delegation, Mr. McGarry from Board of Health, the health officer, and Steve Book from Beamer, police and fire, to address the situation in a, an approach that's gonna be effective, that's gonna minimize um, the spread of the virus. Um, you know, the numbers are increasing. We know that, we expected that. The numbers go up, they spike, and then they go down. And people say, well, how can they go down? Well, they go down because some of those people fortunately have recovered and they've come off quarantine. So the numbers, uh, you know, are, are up and down based upon people, individual people. And Mr. McGarry can address that in just a little while during this, this, uh, this video. Um, but again, I just, I'm asking you to stay patient, stay diligent. What we're doing with Mainspring right now is we're working in collaboration with Father Bill's Mainspring, 54 North Main Street, and also Brock the Neighborhood Health Center. And I want to thank Sue Joss, Executive Director of the Neighborhood Health Center, and John Yazinski, who's the CEO of Father Bill's Mainspring. Um, what we've done is we've worked with the DPH, Department of Health here for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, as well as MEMA, uh, which is Massachusetts Emergency Management. And then locally, again, with the Board of Health and, and, and BEMA, which is our Brockton, local Brockton Emergency Management. Uh, MEMA and DPH has uh, been able to give us some tents. They put some tents, heated tents, um, up in Perkins Park, uh, which actually directly is next door to 54 North Main Street, where the physical building of uh, Main Spring is. And we'll be able to take out the 130 people that are residents every day and every night at Main Spring, and we're gonna be able to distribute the numbers, right? We, we, we need to get them out of a confined area to try to really mitigate the chances of the spread of virus. So as of uh, this coming Friday, uh, we're gonna have uh, tents that are gonna be working. There's gonna be three tents on Perkins Park. Um, two of them are going to be housing uh, the residents. The other one is going to be more for, for accommodations such as feeding and the like. 
The fourth tent is actually going to be located on the physical property of Mainspring uh, in their parking lot. That will be more for um, triage or healthcare professionals. But again, we're working together to help every population in Brockton, every citizen in Brockton, from the senior citizen to the homeless to the elder to the young. And again, at the end of the day, um, it's, it's, it's a challenge that we have on a daily basis. It's a concern. But as the mayor of the city of Brockton, I just wanted to come here, give you my update, uh, share with you best practices, what we're doing, what we're going to continue to do from the schools to City Hall. Again, City Hall is closed right now to the general public. I did that out of an abundance of caution. But if you need to reach me or reach anybody at City Hall, call the office, 508-580-7123 is the number here in the mayor's office. My team, two of my team members are here on a daily basis. Some of the others are working remotely. Also, just want to let you know, as the mayor of the city of Brockton, I had told you that I waived convenience fees or late fees relative to the excise tax that was due. We also were able to push it off until Monday, April 27th. Um, I've asked uh, the treasurer, and he's agreed, we're going to extend that, actually, uh, two weeks after that to make it easier for the residents to, to make the payment. And again, convenience fees, if you pay online at the city website, will be waived. And also, um, any, any late fees attributed to that, if you mail it by a check, they'll be waived as well. Um, we're all in this together. I mean that. Roll up the sleeves. We'll get to work. Uh, and with that being said, I'm going to uh, ask uh, Mr. John Nagiri, who is the health officer for the Board of Health, City of Brockton, to give an update relative to his actions and what his wonderful staff is doing to combat the COVID-19. Hello, residents of Brockton. Uh, I come to you today in, in, with a meeting with the mayor. I just want to update you on what the Board of Health is doing and a few things that you can do to help make keep yourself safe. The mayor went through an awful lot of, of the information that uh, I'm probably going to repeat, but it's it's repeatable because of the, of the critical nature of it. Social distancing is, is the main criteria to fight this illness right now. You, if you're going outside, please make sure that you maintain the six foot social distancing. You should not be out on the ball fields at this time, I'm sorry to say. It is not a time for pickup games of any variety. You need to be, in all honesty, you really need to be staying home and only going out to the pharmacy or to the, or to the uh, shop, the markets to get the food that you need. It is not a time to, to be doing any other things. So no get together it should be going on amongst friends. So you should not be having play dates with, with your, your children's friends. It is a time really to, to hunker down with your family and, and spend some quality time together. Uh, Right now, the numbers are, are slightly over 200 in the city, and as the mayor said earlier, that the number is going to go up and it's going to come down, and that's because as, as time goes on, people are taken off of, of quarantine and the number is going to drop. Uh, if, you are, if you are one of those at home and in isolation, please try and do your best to maintain strict isolation. Try and use, uh, if you have come down with the coronavirus, uh, Try and keep your family away as much as possible. If you if you have to interact, hopefully you have some masks. My staff is is sending out uh, packages to those who are positive for the coronavirus and providing some masks and some uh, thermometers to help you in, in uh, following your disease progression. Uh, when we call you, if you are, are unfortunate enough to be uh, affected by this disease, we are going to call you and ask you for your close contacts. Please provide my staff with those names and phone numbers so that we can warn them to watch their symptoms and to self-quarantine for the 14 days. Anything you can do to, to help as a community is what we need. Please, folks, this is extremely serious. Uh, it is, it's coming to crunch time. All the professionals are telling us, the outside of our area are telling us that the next two weeks are going to be critical. Uh, so please do your best. If you are uh, out and about and you have gloves and masks, please dispose of them properly. Otherwise, you are going to possibly infect somebody else with the illness. Remember, part of the problem with this disease is that you can have it and have, but not show symptoms of it. So please, please, please use extra caution if you're going to go outside and interact with anyone. Maintain that social distancing in the markets, in the drugstores, or wherever you go. Whatever service you may need, that, and that service is open, maintain social distancing please. And I want to thank you and let, and let you know that uh, the staff of the Brockton Board of Health is working daily. And, we, and at the same time, we're still trying to respond to your other issues that the Board of Health usually does. But for right now, the critical issue is the coronavirus and maintaining the health of the citizens of Brockton. 
thank you very much and take care of yourselves. Brockton residents, again, I just want to thank you for your, um, your collaboration. Um, again, I, I appreciate uh, your time uh, paying attention to our messages. I'll be back to you soon with further updates. I want to thank Mr. McGeary and the Board of Health for the efforts as, as well to protect the general welfare of the citizens of Brockton. Again, I wish you and your family a good day. I want to thank Mike Simmons and Brockton Community Access for filming this and stay safe. I'll be back in touch soon. Thank you.